fought strange manifestations. Beings that look like you, but try to kill you. It's possible. Then it has begun. Hurry, and find the other protectors. A threat greater than the humans looms over us all. The antagonist is um, a recruit, if you like, of a dark demon. It creates copies of the characters to sabotage and ruin the missions they have to accomplish. What the antagonist does is to appear suddenly in other players' cooperative matches. There go those repulsive earthlings. They're trying to rescue the redhead. Teach them a lesson they'll never forget. The antagonist already knows the mission and perfectly knows how to screw things up for the raiders. Um, when you play as a raider, the first thing you learn is the mission objective, and each mission has different objectives. We know that the enemy is keeping Lycos Dion alive, and that they move him periodically to a new hideout. We were too late today. And then you learn how to play cooperatively, you learn the ins and outs of the best strategies for your particular character in that mission. This is your greatest advantage. You've been in their shoes. You'll be able to provoke what caused you difficulties playing as a raider. And then when you're seduced to the dark side, if you like, and you become the antagonist, you understand what you need to do in order to screw things up for the raiders. How can the antagonist achieve his goal? There are many ways. He might hinder the raiders' mission objectives by wrecking their strategies, or he may just stick to attacking them directly, or liquidating them, destroying the resources to finally defeat them, impeding them to complete the mission. Besides, it's a four against one match. Actually, you fight along with the enemy troops on your side, uh, being able to use them in your favor. Um, the others are in fact at a disadvantage in that way, forcing them to cooperate. If they don't play together, you can do whatever you want with them. You're under great pressure. You are one player against four other people. But at the same time, you don't feel alone. The hordes of troops will be fighting along with you. Therefore, I think that this is an experience far away from other asymmetric games made in the past. From my point of view, someone has to be the bad guy. I like playing my own way. I'm not much into playing along with other people. Being the antagonist allows me to play, do my own thing, but annoying real people playing the game. This is not about different game modes. This is a great adventure that can be experienced from very different perspectives, which can be played in many different ways. If we are always playing against the CPU, this game wouldn't have much replay value. Having to beat a creative enemy who will challenge you in a different way each time you defeat him, using a variety of characters and different strategies each time you play, means a great challenge for you and your squad that you'll have to adapt to. It's not just playing a co-op campaign in only one direction. 
we will be able to play in the opposite direction, trying to ruin the same missions we had to beat in the past. I cannot think about another game that brings us the opportunity to play its campaign while another player is trying to ruin our missions. I have to complete a campaign, but there is some dude bothering me. It is not just handling the IA. Now, there is a player who is able to analyze me and select the best class for each level. This is something that provides a very rewarding experience that I haven't found in any other multiplayer games.